Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, Project 70 update. Uh, getting a lot of emails from you guys about this project. Everyone seems to love the color and the combination that we're putting together on this baby. And uh, people have been just asking me how the, the top installation is going, if I'm going to be making a how-to on this or not. Um, I plan on making a how-to. With this top, I don't know. It might be the next Beetle. Uh, again, this is my first uh, attempt at doing a convertible top. Uh, I used to job this out, but it just seems like uh, uh, standard convertible top installation uh, shops out there uh, don't necessarily know all the ins and outs of a Beetle top installations. They go along the lines of standard top installations, so sometimes their the measurements are off and things like that, and it doesn't come out just right. Uh, so I wanted to do this myself and get this to come out right. Now, as you can see, we have basically the frame is ready to start getting... Uh, padding, upholstery, headliner, top, all that stuff to start making this magic come alive. Uh, and as you can see, you know, in my past videos we did uh, uh, media blast this, this frame with some uh, power washing and steam, painted it up just with a jet black, and we got wood bows. Uh, I've been told to always go with the wood bows, the synthetic bows do not hold up well with staples over time and staples start to come out because you do have to staple much of the headliner to these areas like you see here. Now you can get these wood bow kits online. Uh, CIP1.com has some wood. Um, you also have uh, Wolfsburg West, but Chuck's Convertible Parts is probably the place to go to get the whole kit. He sells a whole entire kit together, okay, which is what you're gonna wanna get. Um, and also you're gonna wanna get the hardware. Uh, that you need to fasten the wood down, okay? He gives you all new hardware, and what's nice is he puts all the hardware in labeled baggies so you know exactly, uh, you know, which, where to put what. Um, now, the thing I will tell you is, and I got a good uh, heads up on this from uh, Carol at SoFine Products, which I love SoFine, is that she told me the wood is not going to be shaped exactly like it's supposed to be. So there's going to be a lot of shaping you're going to have to do to get this all to fit right. Okay, so the, we had an issue with wood. the wood back here. The holes did not line up with the holes in the body, so we had to drill new holes in the body. Okay, the, the front header bow here was jutting out, was sticking out much further than it was supposed to. All right, so see, you see it here. It's nice and smooth. It's even with the line here from the metal frame so we had to get that all right it had to be shaped correctly around here this we had to put a belt sander to a lot of the wood pieces to get them to be shaped correctly and to work and uh, that took us a few days i think even close to a week of work in the wood to get it to fit right which is remarkable and then after that of course we seal it with like a shellac or something or like a thompson's water seal if you want to use something like that just to seal the wood um, but yeah it's um my, my, my shop actually smelt more like a wood shop than it did of a, an automotive shop because of sanding all this wood down to get it to be shaped correctly in the contours of it with the car. Now, as far as information, informational how-tos on this subject, here is where I am in a bit of a pogrom or what do they call it? A uh, caught in a, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right how-tos. Uh, to basically follow to get this together. Now, would you believe I have four, four how-tos that I have come across to show how to install the convertible top on a Beetle. And would you believe all four of them have different techniques? All four of them have different measurements, which is really uh, scrambling my mind because they, they're measurements from this top bow above the back window to the center line here, each one of them has a different measurement. And I'm saying to myself, which one is the true measurement? And so I've been on the phone with even SoFine, asking them questions about which is the right technique. So let me go over with you where I got some of my informational stuff and uh, how you can possibly go about you know, doing your own top um, and not be in the dark. But uh, I guess, you know, you have got, we got to find a happy medium somehow with these how-tos out there and, uh, and really see what, what is the right way. So basically, let's come over here to my computer. 
Now back in the day, I ordered, there used to be a company called Revolks.com, and I have this convertible top installation. It's a CD-ROM. I mean, it's basically set up almost like a Windows 95, Windows 98 setup. It's a CD-ROM, and it's more web-based, and it's a lot of reading. Um, he does have some videos in the CD-ROM, so what I'm going to show you here just going to minimize this for a second. Here's my computer screen. Now I got, I saved this to my computer. I got the Revolks folder. And so you click on this and it comes up as like an HTML web page sort of CD-ROM. And so I've been following this uh, to basically learn how to put this top together. Now he's got pictures on the sides here. You click on the pictures, they get a little bit bigger. You can see some more detail. Um, and then he does have some video. But when you click on the video, the quality is really not the greatest. I mean, it's really small stuff, like you can see. Um, I mean, you can blow it up, but the, it, the quality is not that great. But um, so I've been following that. Now, I did learn from this guy uh, early on to do ragtop headliner. He has a ragtop headliner CD-ROM, and I learned techniques from there. And then uh, I made my own how-to for ragtop headliner installation. So this is pretty good. So I've been reading this. It's pretty extensive. It's very detailed. But again, like his, some of his measurements are different from others. And this is what's scaring me. And the, the, uh, the big measurement issue I have is when it comes down to the back window again. So let me scroll down here. He has a diagram here, okay, of what the distance between... You know, with the, where the window is supposed to be placed, where the bows are supposed to be placed and whatnot. I mean, I guess in general it's going to probably work. It seems like it's worked for him. But there's also on YouTube, if you do a search for, if you can see up there, convertible top installation, the, really the only good one on YouTube is this one right here, the top one here this, with this yellow beetle. It's Marla, plain and small. It's about a almost a 35 minute video and that's pretty good um, but again there's other things that she mentions in there that are different from the Revolx CD-ROM um, some of her measurements I, I don't quite agree with as opposed to say um, what the Revolx said or what some manuals have said um, even the even the steps when it comes to where to mount the headliner first she mounts this, she staples the headliner back here first and staples it up here on the wood bow. So then the whole headliner is pretty much stretched straight from front to back and then she starts moving to the bows and moving the listings that are on the headliner to the bows. Now I see another video that I bought off of uh, the Samba.com and this DVD comes out of Greece. It's a convertible top how-to installation. I paid 30 bucks for this DVD. It took almost a month to get to me coming from Greece. And when I get the DVD, I pop it in. And sure enough, this is a video literally back in time to the 1980s. And the quality is VHS quality. And the quality is really not the greatest. You cannot see finite detail in things. So that was another how-to that I came across. And you'll see that on the Samba.com. If you just put in convertible top installation DVD, you'll see that DVD that pops up. But when they mount it, they'll staple it here in the front first and not staple it to the back yet. And they'll go right to this bow. So everybody's got their own techniques. So that was another how-to. And then the other how-to that's three then the other how-to i'm following is on sofine's website so if you go to sofine.com sofineproducts.com and then i click on install tips and then you want to go to bug install tips okay and you scroll down and you'll see bug convertible install now mike is a great upholsterer who works for so fine awesome guy he's been helping me out and he's been taking my phone calls and when I have questions now out of all of the how-to's out there I mean there's no video here there's no text really um, you're just following the pictures along 
and you can click on these pictures and they get bigger, you know. But at least out of all of the how-tos, his is the only one that shows the inside of the cabin and showing how straight the headliner is. All the other videos very pretty much glance over what the inside headliner is supposed to look like. His is the most taut without wrinkles and looks beautiful. All the other ones that I've seen, whether it was the how-to on YouTube or even the one on the Revolks, the headliner was not straight. Uh, so I've been going by this too. Now his measurements have been different. I've been asking him certain questions about certain things when it comes to this too. So two sources say that you need to put an inner seal here on the wood bow in the front. The Revolx CD-ROM that I have, he talks about a seal like this that he puts on. And the guy from the 80s video that I got also said the same thing. I asked so fine, no seal. So, and then even the other how-to that's on YouTube, she did not show a seal here, but they show it on the outside after you put the canvas top or vinyl top wrapping around. So I'm getting a lot of conflicting you know, reports on how to do certain things. Um, really wish we had an assembly line footage, folks, but um, we are progressing here, and I hope to, once I get this top installed, I will definitely be putting together my notes and telling you what worked best for me. Uh, so stay tuned. I do apologize for this long video. I, I apologize for, you know, not being able to show all in depth detail as we're progressing here, because I've been just trying to do my homework and uh, you know, dot my I's and cross my T's and, and make sure this thing comes out stellar. Because uh, many times I see the tops come out real good, but the headliners are not. Uh, they're always very wrinkled, and it seems to just be a sort of thing like, oh, that's just convertibles. Convertibles always have wrinkled headliners, and I don't agree with that. I've seen headliners in convertibles at shows from Beatles, and they look awesome. So uh, there's definitely a way that this has to be straight. So, and I want it to be right. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, this, I'm sorry, long-winded video. Just wanted to keep you abreast of some of the information that's out there today. And whatever that comes, floats my way, I'll definitely be sharing it with you. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in, the, in the, you know, the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And maybe you guys got some helpful tips out there if you've done this before. So, okay, guys, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care.